Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and today we're talking sweaty sunscreen. Ooh, specifically sunscreen that can hold up to sweat, swimming, water, tis the season, right? It is summertime where I live. Uh, the UV is super high. The sun is, as you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day. It's warm. It's humid. I'm going to be working outside in my yard, but these are products that would work if you're going to be swimming, sweating, running, working out, going on vacation, going to the beach. These are really, really heavy duty, hardworking, high protection sunscreen products that will keep you protected this summer. So if you're so ready to find out all of my sweaty, sunscreen picks give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started so for face sunscreen I'm gonna be using the Avene very high protection fluid sunscreen this is the fragrance free version and it's SPF 50 plus now this is a European exclusive sunscreen I actually discovered this last year when I was traveling throughout Greece for about a month um, so if a sunscreen can hold up to hot um, grease if it can hold up to me sweating walking around all day long traveling getting into the water swimming in the sea this is definitely gonna hold up to some yard work today so this is a, a water resistant formula and the very high protection line is exactly you know what it sounds like it is focusing in on filters that offer extremely high protection in the face of UVB and UVA rays so let me pull back my bangs. I have my handy little bang Velcro here. I'll link those in the description box. I know you guys ask me about them. I get them on YesStyle. They're so inexpensive. They last forever and they don't create little crimps in your hair when you pull it back. So this sunscreen, it's a fully chemical sunscreen. It's using for all new generation chemical filters. That's why they don't sell this in the US, unfortunately, um, because the filters are just too darn good for the US market. Let me show you the texture because it is a um, cream type of texture, but it has a more kind of, you see it's already starting to slide down my hand. It has kind of a more fluidy type of looser cream type of texture. It's not super, super thick. Um, and this actually spreads really nicely and I am going to be applying this very generously and it's got like a medium feel on the skin. It's not my favorite everyday, like I said, casual sun exposure um, type of sunscreen. I have videos on my favorites for those, but this, I feel so protected with this. It does have, you're starting to see, it does have kind of a, a shinier type of finish. Don't mind that at all, but I can feel that it is drying quickly on my skin. This uh, formula, it doesn't have any alcohol in it, um, but it does create that film quite quickly. I can just, you know when you can feel a sunscreen drying? I can feel it drying. And don't forget the neck, you know? Um, I'm gonna run this down my neck. I am gonna be doing a different sunscreen for body. Um, so you could definitely put your body sunscreen on your neck, but I had a little extra, and so I wanna make sure that my neck is protected. Okay, so it's definitely like a slightly shinier type of formula, but it really doesn't have a white cast. And while this is kind of more um, of like a more medium weight type of sunscreen, it doesn't feel really heavy on my skin and that actually makes it really friendly for reapplying. I have reapplied this quite a bit on my face over the year that I've been using it multiple times. And like I said, it's more medium weight, but it um, definitely does feel very protective. So for body sunscreen, I'm gonna be using the La Roche-Posay Anthelios XL Wet Skin Sunscreen. This offers SPF 50 plus protection, and just like the Avene sunscreen, this is focused on offering very high protection. They're using a mixture of six chemical filters. They're using a mixture of older generation filters and newer generation filters here. And because those newer generation filters are present in this formula, that does mean that this is is not available stateside. Like you can't go down to Target or Walgreens to buy this. You will have to buy it online. Um, so I have two different versions here. And one is the, um, my older bottle here. This is just like the regular wet skin gel version. Um, and this, this formula, it does contain denatured alcohol as well as some fragrance. Uh, recently I needed, obviously you can tell I don't have 
much left in here. So I just picked up a refill um, and this is the kids version. It's the exact same formula, the same filters. The only difference here is they're not using the fragrance in this formula. That's the only difference. Um, but there is still denatured alcohol in this one. Now let me tell you, I did just recently restock my sunscreens. So I just got a new one of the Avene and then the new one of the La Roche Posay. I bought these on a website called Kooding, K-O-O-D-I-N-G. This is based in South Korea and they have actually, they have a lot of like Korean fashion and they have Korean makeup, not a ton of Korean skincare, but some, but they actually have a lot of European um, cosmetics on that website, like surprisingly. And so I, I ordered these about two weeks ago and it came in two weeks. So um, not too bad, right? Although I have to say <laughs> stuff goes out of stock. So I noticed at the time of filming, the La Roche Posay is out of stock. Uh, it might come back in, I don't know, but I'm gonna try to keep those links for you in the description box updated because I know how tricky it can be finding some of these more exclusive sunscreens when you're living in the United States. So let me show you the texture of this wet skin gel because this is a true winner texture wise. So you can see that it looks like a cream, but when you start to rub it in, you see how it just starts to become more of that gel type of texture. So this is such an interesting, such an interesting texture for a sunscreen. And that means that it spreads beautifully. The denatured alcohol, I'm trying to show you my shoulder here. The denatured alcohol in this means that this is just like absorbing and drying on my skin so, so quickly. And it is creating a thin, but very protective layer. You can feel like, I can feel like the wetness of this is going away as it's drying and it's becoming a little bit grippier on my skin. And I have to say, this is pretty tough to remove in the shower. I actually will use a, um, like a little bit of an oil cleanser, like, a, a, like I'll do a double cleanse on my body, a little oil cleanser on my arms. Um, before I get into the shower to help break it down because just soap alone, it will work, but you'll have to work at it. You might need to soap up a couple times to really break it down. So that's why I'm saying I really trust this sunscreen to live up to just some sweating or even swimming because it's really hard to break down in the shower. So arm, no white cast whatsoever, a really pleasant uh, texture that dries really quickly. That's important for body sunscreen. Is it something that dries quickly because you don't want to be like standing around waiting for your sunscreen to dry before you can do anything else. Because if your sunscreen's not dry and you, you know, you put it on a different shirt or something, you could wipe some of the protection away. So because I'm on camera, I'm not actually putting this on the way I normally would. I actually would not be wearing my shirt right now. And I would make sure to get down um, down my chest. Even though I'm wearing a high necked shirt, I want to make sure that I get down there just a little bit for some extra protection if my shirt moves around. Um, and also to make sure to get really um, deep like into the backs of the shoulders and to not forget the back of the neck. A lot of us forget the back of the neck. I forgot the back of the neck a couple of weeks ago and I paid for it dearly. OMG. My skin was so itchy and dry and just like sun stunned, do you know what I mean? Because I forgot the sunscreen there. So I did put some of the Avene on the front of my neck, but I'm just making sure to get behind as well because you'd be so surprised at how, how the sun gets into those little areas, especially from behind. So many sunburns happen on the backs of the shoulders and the back of the neck because we don't think about it when we're facing forward in the mirror, right? And applying sunscreen. So I have sunscreen on my arms, on the backs of my shoulders, the back of my neck, my neck, my face. We're sunscreened up, right? What about the lips? This is a question I get a lot. I did recently do a YouTube short about three different lip SPFs that I like and use. Um, and so the two that I'm gonna show you are actually a part of that. But the first one is from Roto. This is a Japanese brand. This is their Melty Lip Cream cream and it offers SPF 25 with PA plus three protection. So this is just a clear balm. Um, it doesn't have any lip color to it at all. It's not too thick. It's not sticky. It's very balmy. Um, I did get the, I think this is the, is this the matcha or the vanilla? Now I can't even, I don't even know. 
this might be the matcha um, and I also have the vanilla one as well uh, so there is a little bit of fragrance in here I am very prone to lip eczema I actually just recovered from a little lip it was very tiny it was very minor but I did have a little bit of lip eczema this doesn't bother it at all so I just want to put that out there everybody's different but I'm pretty sensitive, this is good. And so I really like the Roto, but I have to say I have been reaching for the Naked Sundays lip oil um, for working outside purely because it lasts on my lips for a really long time. And I cannot be bothered to be running inside to put on some lip product, right? Every like 20, 30 minutes while I'm mowing the lawn and pulling weeds and working in the dirt and it's just a big old mess. And lawn care is such a bigger, um, chore than I was expecting it was going to be. I have been an apartment dweller since I graduated college. I grew up living in a house, but we didn't have a really big yard. We didn't do very much to it. And so it's in a lot like, uh, I really enjoy it, but like getting into taking care of the lawn, taking care of, I have a little container garden started right now. I want to do something bigger next year. Um, but I have like a little herb garden going, taking care of that. And then of course the weeds are starting to take over everything. The lawn needs patching. It's a lot. So anyways, I spend a lot of my weekend outside these days. I need a product that's gonna stay, keep my lips hydrated and moist. That's the most important part for me because my lips can get really dry and it's very annoying very prone to lip eczema. So it's important to keep things moisturized. But I like that this has SPF 50 in it too, with a little bit of color. I don't put makeup on to go work outside, obviously, but like, hey, my lips can be popping, I'm happy. So we just covered some really great water and sweat resistant sunscreens with very high protection, and we even covered um, lip SPF. But for me personally, that's not where sun protection ends. You know, sunscreen, make sure you're reapplying this every two hours as you're consistently out in the sun. Um, when you come out of the water, if you're swimming, just put some more SPF on, even if it hasn't been two hours. Um, stay on top of your reapplication process, but there's a few other things that I do to um, take some of that heavy work off off of the sunscreen and just give myself some backup protection to make sure that my skin is protected. So let's talk hats. This is actually a very a protective accessory that you can use in your sun protection arsenal. It's not just about sunscreen. So you definitely wanna look for hats that have like a nice wide brim that are gonna give you good coverage, not just in the front of your face, but also on the sides too. So of course like um, things that are branded as sun hats have really big wide brims. For me personally, I have to say, while those are great with long hair and it being hot outside, I don't like having my hair on the back of my neck. Even in a low bun, it just really drives me crazy. I really need to have my hair up and like out of the way, you know what I mean? And so I'm always looking for sun hats that either have that ponytail holder, like that little hole um, in them, those are so amazing, or just um, like a visor style, but still like having a wide brim. So I actually just recently got this off of Amazon and it has that really nice wide rim. So not only, like I said, protection up in the front, right, but also protection on the sides as much as possible, right? I am forgoing the protection on the back without getting the wide rim, but I have seen visors that do have the wide brim all the way around. Hello, cute foe. <laughs> Um, so I actually just got this off of Amazon and it's been really helpful and I can put my hair up as high as I want to. I can still look kind of cute. I definitely have some um, dirt on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got it dirty. Maybe I should have gotten a darker color, but I thought this kind of beige color was very cute. Speaking of Amazon, I recently just got this SPF jacket um, off of Amazon and it is so so good. I am so glad that I got this. So it was about $26 and I love it because this is a UPF 50 plus rated um, sun jacket. It's just a zipper jacket, nice long sleeves. We do have thumb holes here, which is great. So you're getting some of that protection on the top of your hands. And it also has a hood if that's something that you're into. But what I like is it does come up when you zip it up, it actually comes up pretty high. So you're getting that protection on the back of your neck, but it's made out of an extremely lightweight material. It's kind of like athletic material, like workout material. So it's really, really thin. It's breathable. It lets some breeze in if there's a breeze, if you're lucky, and it dries very quickly too. So if you're sweating, it kind of wicks the sweat away and dries very, very fast. So it's not 
the most fun to wear long sleeves in hot weather, but with a material that's a little bit more breathable, that wicks away the sweat and dries fast, it makes it a lot more bearable. And so if I have to run out quickly in the morning, I don't have time to put sunscreen all over my arms, I'll just wear this. Um, but then I also will put this on to add that extra layer of protection when the sun is beating down on me and I'm weeding or whatever. So this can be a helpful tool. It's not gonna be great for every situation. You may not wanna wear something like this to the beach or at least the full time that you're at the beach right but for yard work for going for runs walking the dog this can be a very helpful additional layer of protection and of course you know i'm always saying wear your sunglasses <laughs> absolutely wear your sunglasses because it helps you see better first of all it helps protect your eyes you only get one pair um, but it also helps to protect the skin around your eyes and you may know that like that's the area where uh, fine lines start to show up first because that skin's a lot thinner it's a lot more delicate and it's prone to the collagen breaking down a lot faster so this is not only going to protect that area but it's also going to keep you from squinting which may kind of further that collagen degrading process, right? So I love um, to have sunglasses on at all times when I'm out in the sun. And everything that I talked about in today's video, I'm gonna link in the description box. So if you wanna pick up any of these, um, easy uh, browsing in the description box. And I hope you enjoyed. You know, I just wanted to show you some of the things that I've been using recently to protect my skin. Um, because I really believe that we should go out and enjoy the sun. We should go out and enjoy the summer and not stop ourselves from doing activities outside just because of sun exposure. So hopefully this helps you learn about some good sunscreen formulas with sweat resistance and water resistance that absolutely stand up to sweating and swimming, but also about some of the additional um, accessories really that we can use to help protect ourselves from the sun too, while still enjoying our lives. So um, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you like to use to protect your skin in the hot summer in the comment box below. And I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe. Thanks for being here with me today. And I love you so, so much. Go out and enjoy that sun. Bye.